Here are five tips to keep in mind when performing a cricothyrotomy. So number one, remember this procedure can be quite bloody, maybe the bloodiest procedure you've done. I actually saw a case where somebody was performing a cric, hit an artery, and all of a sudden you see blood just shooting up everywhere. Hit a few people in the face. So first tip, remember, make sure you have your protective equipment, including face shields and eyewear. Second tip, studies have shown that we really aren't that good at palpating the cricothyroid membrane, especially in our anatomically challenging patients. Maybe around 50% of the time we're able to identify it. So you're gonna to want to make your initial incision quite generous so that you'll be able to identify your landmarks. Three, if you are anticipating a difficult airway, and let's say your patient is hemodynamically stable, maybe having a little bit of trouble palpating in that cricothyroid membrane, you can always reach for an ultrasound. But again, the patient has to be stable because if you're trying to do this in an unstable patient, you're just not going to have the time. Four, don't forget your bougie. When you're in a pinch and you need that airway and maybe you're working at a place that doesn't have all the tools you need, I say a tracheal hook, look for the bougie. This will facilitate the passage of your tube by decreasing resistance and providing it a track along the way. Last but not least, number five, review, review, review. Remember, this is a very, very rare procedure, but it is something that you should have in your back pocket at all times. So be sure to review every now and then. And if you are working at a new shop, be sure to know what tools you have at your disposal. If you're watching this video, one tool that you likely have in your disposal is the Corpendium chapter. So be sure to take a look at that. Otherwise, have a great shift.